have had a, a very good summit. We thank, we thank uh, the President Tinubu for having invited us for his hospitality, the hospitality of the people of Nigeria. As you are aware, this is uh, the second summit in 10 days that we have organized on Niger. And this is a, a critical uh, problem we have to solve. As you are aware, uh, ECOWAS has uh, taken uh, many uh, decisions in the past, legal and factual, about coup d'etats. And uh, the community has always uh, condemned coup d'etats. And coup d'etats have happened in many countries in the sub-region. ECOWAS has entered in, uh, in the past in Liberia, in Sierra Leone, recently in Gambia, in Guinea-Bissau. And today, we have a, a similar situation in Niger. I'd like to say that ECOWAS cannot accept this. This is not a matter of Nigeria against Niger, not at all. The decision that we have made today and I hope it will be implemented immediately, is a decision of ECOWAS. All the head of states think that we have tried dialogue with the push of Niger. We have sent delegation, high personalities uh, like uh, former President Abu Salami Abouakar, the Sultan of uh, Sekoto, the Emir uh, uh, Egalma, former Governor Sanusi, my friend, and many others, personalities in this important country, to talk to the people of Niger. But they're hosting, they're uh, keeping President Bazoum as a hostage. I personally consider this as a terrorist act, and we cannot let this continue. We have to act. The position of Cote d'Ivoire, which has been endorsed by all of the head of states, and that we have been able to tell these putschists that their place is in the barracks. They should go to fight the terrorists and not try to kidnap a democratically elected president. So we believe that this is for the credibility of ECOWAS. All of us are concerned and involved in this decision. So I'd like uh, to thank my uh, the former president of ECOWAS, President Ambalo. He himself is a former general, <laughs> but uh, democratically elected now to say that we want democracy in our sub-region. We do not accept, we will not accept coup d'etat. And I think these putschists must go. If they don't let Bazoum out to be able to exercise his mandate, I think we should move ahead and get them out. Bazoum is a democratically elected president. He should be freed. He should be able to exercise his mandate freely. Thank you very much. So, so before you go, are you saying this is the position? that ECOWAS has decided after... Well, this is a position, uh, as you say, I have to leave now, but there's a position most head of states who have intervened have endorsed. So I want to say, I want to insist, this is not a Nigerian affair. It's an affair of ECOWAS. And you know, Niger is part of the Monetary Union of West Africa, of which I have a chair. And this concern Cote d'Ivoire on that account. So ECOWAS is even bigger. ECOWAS is nearly 400 million people, 240 million in uh, Nigeria, 140 million in the West African Monetary Union. So this is 400 million people. If we don't have democracy, do you think that our countries will be able to move ahead? This coup d'etat is not acceptable. We should put an end to it. And I hope it will be unanimously that we will put this to an end. Thank you.